Thank you, Ambassador. Uh, and 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 I I would just add uh, that I that I spent 16 years in uh, in, in Central Asia full time, not traveling there on occasion, and I've driven all throughout uh, Georgia and Azerbaijan also on the road. So uh, I uh, you know from Tbilisi to Batumi and and all over. So. I know it very well. So first of all, uh, good morning to everyone. Good afternoon and thank you. I'd like to uh, uh, thank the Caspian Policy Center for organizing today's discussion. Uh, thanks for having me. And uh, what I'll do is very briefly, uh, uh, as the ambassador mentioned, I'll, I'll go over some of the activities that we currently have in Central Asia. And we've been there for 25 years. Uh, and this is uh, 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 an important milestone. I think this this conference here, and I have a few points that I'd like to make at the end. Uh, so uh, USAID has partnered with uh, Central Asia uh, for the last 25 years to accelerate the country's development, promote stability and foster regional connectivity and cooperation among the five uh, states, including with Afghanistan increasingly uh, uh, the connectivity with Afghanistan is important and going west as well. Our partnerships with private industry are at the heart of our strategy. At USAID, we know that private enterprise is the single most powerful force for improving livelihoods, strengthening communities, and accelerating self-reliance or a day when foreign assistance will not be necessary. So we, we're on two fronts. We do humanitarian, which is what most people understand USAID, and then we have all the development work and very heavily focused on, on energy, energy security, energy independence. Um, and in Central Asia specifically, I'll just go over two or three examples of what we've been doing, but we've been mainly focused on renewables and on uh, uh, systems and uh, uh, the market architecture in terms of pricing and, and uh, uh, these types of uh, issues. So uh, we've uh, recently partnered with uh, Kazakhstan to launch the first in, uh, in the region renewable energy auctions. These auctions have helped to bring in foreign investment and have lowered electricity costs. Over the past two years, 28 auctions have resulted in new renewable energy projects that could generate electricity for up to a million homes. They have also lowered electricity prices by up to 40%. Uh, additionally, we are supporting the Secretariat of the Central Asia South Asia uh, Power Project or the CASA 1000 which is a multi-billion dollar project as you all know that will facilitate the export of surplus hydro from Tajikistan and the Kyrgyz Republic South. Uh, uh, we're also focused our, uh, 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 on regional cooperation around shared energy resources, uh, including uh, better water management, uh, which uh, feeds into the whole uh, agricultural sector as well as into the hydro sector. And uh, in, this in, in, in this sense, um, we uh, uh, are working on the Central Asia Regional Electricity uh, Market, uh, CARAM. We have four uh, MOUs with uh, the countries, uh, except for Turkmenistan, but we are cooperating with Turkmenistan. And CARAM, the Central Asia Regional Electricity Market, will promote energy independence for the region by establishing a transparent, integrated, market-based power trade network. This will lead to improved energy reliability and lower electricity costs while also creating an, 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 an enabling environment for the private sector uh, to thrive. Um, and uh, uh, let me underscore that applying a market-based approach that drives the costs of grid-connected renewable energy that's what we're focused on. Uh, uh, we can increase the deployment integration of regional wind power and solar energy. The use of these two types of renewable energies uh, has grown significantly si uh, since 2010, and we will continue to operate in, in these sectors in cooperation uh, with the governments. And then before closing here, in addition to our work in Central Asia, uh, uh, USAID also implements energy projects in the broader Caspian region, including in Georgia and Armenia, where we are improving natural gas and electricity transmission infrastructure and promoting 
uh, uh, energy market uh, liberalization. And let me uh, end by saying that uh, the region is uh, important in itself. We're opening, uh, which is rare, two new missions uh, in Central Asia, which is news, both in, in, in uh, uh, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan. These are important moves that confirm the importance of the region. Uh, and I'd like to also just reinforce one last thing here. Anyone who's been reading the policy experts and analysts will know that it seems to be the time to move oil and gas west across the Caspian. The consensus seems to be that the Trans-Caspian interconnector makes sense. And I'm not gonna go into the technical stuff because you all know it much better. And uh, this will help increase the region's energy security, help bolster independence and sovereignty, help to have a more equal footing in the energy markets, help the Caucasus and Central Asia become a true crossroads and uh, interregional cooperation, which is uh, the subject matter of, of, of this discussion as well, and help provide Europe with more stable energy. And finally, um, uh, I just want to reference the Blue Dot Network. Uh, countries are signing up to the Blue Dot Network, and it is uh, uh, designed to promote quality infrastructure investments, investment that is open and inclusive, transparent, economically viable, financially and environmentally and socially sustainable, uh, and compliant with certain standards. So we've, uh, we are here to uh, uh, assist in any way. We work very closely with the state and our colleagues, and I'm very thankful that Kurt is here. Uh, and I want to thank everyone and, uh, uh, you know, for uh, uh, their time and uh, for the organizers. And thanks so much. And we're here to help and we will stay in the region as honest brokers also. Thank you.